Go the other side of them, you can go this side. Fine. So we are staying at the Duckett's Mill Winery and the Denmark Farmhouse Cheese Chicardery or whatever. Um, yeah. And their um, one of their famous dishes is this what's called a cheese platter. And it has got anything and everything on it, and I think we'll be here till midnight tonight. I think so. Do they have doggy bags? Yeah. Well, I don't know. They have to have doggy Thousands of doggy bags. I haven't found this, but goodness. I may like a little drop of the Sauvignon. Would you like to try a little bit of that, Kat? Have a look on your chair. Can I try yours first? What you've got here, so you have a couple of fromages which are like your soft cheese. Right. So you've got a dill pickle and a chilli. Yes. And then you have a few different goudas. So you have a mustard seed gouda here. Yep. Pepper gouda. Yep. And a cumin gouda. Yep. You have a 12 month age cheddar. Mm -hmm. The brie, the blue's hiding under the apple there. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> which is yes. the one that they've won a lot of the awards for is okay. the blue cheese. Okay. And then you have a chili garlic Havarti, which oh, is yes, this little yeah, orange yeah, one yeah. here, and just a normal Havarti there. And just on your salad there, you've got a Moroccan feta. Wow. So all the cheeses are made here wow. um, by wow. Nassim Jack. So he does all the cheese making. Yeah. Nassim Jack? Yes. You guys can have the cheese. <laughs> Thank you for that. No worries. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Well, here we are at a beautiful winery. It's called Duckett's Mill Farm, around about oh, three quarters of the way between Walpole and Denmark in WA. It's a working farm. We had a beautiful cheese platter and meat and fruit yesterday afternoon with some wine that's made with the grapes from the vineyard here. Um, I'm not sure how many acres it is, but Annette is the runner of the establishment. Very, very friendly. Um, do anything for you, ask what you need. Um, you have to be self-contained, although there are toilets here you can use. Hmm. Um, very, very pleasant. Lots of grassland, and the outlook is absolutely superb. The, the and sun. And we're staying here. We've been here. We'll, we, we'll be here for four nights. Yeah. And you guys will be here for three nights. How many sites are here? There are four sites here, but we've doubled up on the larger site. And this guy walking in here, he's the cheesemaker? Yes. I think so. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the son who is the, uh, he makes the cheese. So he's been learning to be a cheesemaker since he was 15. He's 25 now and he's been winning amazing competitions both here and in Switzerland. And the platter that we had yesterday, I'm sure Alistair will drop a photo in, um, was absolutely stunning. And we've still got some leftovers that we'll have this afternoon around the campfire. Well, some people will. I'll have some meat. Yes, you have the meat. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's brilliant. I mean, Pixar's off lead. They've got other dogs here. One in particular... Comes to visit. Comes to visit. Very, very friendly. Mm. A very, yeah. very young, but very fat staffy. <laughs> Can hardly walk. But it's just uh, a glorious location. Today, for the first time, we are expecting 29 degrees. Which is probably one of our warmest days. Yeah, this wind keeps up. Going. It won't be. Yeah. Um, we're also going to do the walk up through um, just an area to the east of us. It, it was um, milled, I don't know, many, many years ago. About 50 or 60 years ago. Do you know? I don't know how long ago. 100 years ago. 100 years ago. And, they've, um, and it's what's called a new growth carry forest. So we'll be able to see how quickly they grow and how well they grow and apparently the bush has virtually regenerated itself and lots of birds and lots of wildflowers so we might get some photos of that on. Yeah, mm. looking forward to that too. Yeah. So we're here at the Harwood uh, Forest Walk Trail. Now this forest was uh, had large timber in it, it was logged in the 1800s and it is a great example of a regrowth carry forest. And uh, we're going to walk among it and listen to the birds. And it's quite a long walk. It's a 2.8 kilometre return, class three. So there's a little bit of climbing required. 
So this is the start of the track. With a bridge over carry water. Over this um, little creek. There's a, <clears throat> there's a bit of a um, pungent odour. Very closely. It goes either way. Yeah, I thought it's a loop. Around a it's loop. a loop. Right. Yeah, this this one goes around and then comes back that one. These trees, they're quite large now, are they? That's a hundred years of growth. They're going well. Look at the way they fork. There quite a few of them have forked. Yes. And then fork. And this one here that I spoke about on our walk yesterday. It looks like a like but, a star leaf and then it has that drooping little flower. And and the indigenous ate it or made something yes. rather than other. So it's looking back through the forest that we just um, walked through. And there's a lot of this, a lot of this looks like a weed growing in here. Are they the ones that lodge normally in the... No, no. So this opens up in the sun and it's basically a green flower. And it closes up again, so the multi-topped. It just opens up the stems. And here's one that's opened. Oh, look. And there's a. Close one. It's gonna. Well, it's shooting out of the shooting out of the core to create another one. Yes. It's a nice view of some trees. We're halfway up the mountain. Growing very well. Imagine making these, making up their concrete and putting them all together. grab hold of enough oh, of it. Oh, it's a bit... Um, the one on your right, Bruce, can ooh. probably go the other way. Just go slowly. <laughs> then you don't have to do anything. <laughs> There's a road plant ahead. <laughs> I'll just push well, it back. Yeah, it'll go there. Push no, it back. There's that one behind Alistair. Okay. All right, if we come through. Okay. This is fast oh, money. Can you pick up my sonics? Yes, yeah, they're hundreds. Yeah, they couldn't get out. Tiny little yeah. thing. He smashed the wall down so he can get out. Can you see if there's any bats in there? I think it's only when it's really, really hot. Oh, it goes all the way up in there. There's no iguana on the ground. Oh, that's rude. What are you waiting for? <laughs> See where oh, your commentary. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying your commentary. I'm flying out. Uh, another obstacle to climb over. Is this a, 
что будет I've come into uh, Denmark town to uh, have a bow peep and it really doesn't look that big um, I'm walking down the uh, highway I'll just spin the camera around and have a look so we've got a few shops over here IGA Oh dear, phone's ringing. So that was Miranda trying to find out where I was. And I was looking at her. So they pulled up this guy with a flashy car. A fat 49. That's a nice paint job. Oh my goodness me. It's Big Al. Big Al. Look at the flame work. Big L. Eight ball on the mat. Oh! Look at the eight ball. Hey guys, I'm back on that <laughs> Did you chop it yourself? Or? No, no, it's not mine. I'm just mining it for a mate. Look at that. Look at the paintwork. Yeah, there's a little bit of what? I did look at the roof lining, but I can't can't get the um, camera in there. Lead sled. Do you like the uh, do you like the exhaust pipes in the in the shape of a Chevy logo? <laughs> As a news agent, homewares, fishing tackle, camping gear. Awesome. It's pretty, uh, pretty small shopping center, isn't it? Yeah. I, was I, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I, I, big town I, I, or a small beach town, or it was not even on the beach. No, that's right. It's on a, on a hill. Who came up with this idea? On well, that was from the old timber days yeah. when they didn't care about the beaches. Yeah. It is a VA, isn't it? Uh, it's time to go to the dark side. Oh, these will be expensive handcrafted chocolates. It's here, is it? No, I don't. I don't need to see all. Is it? Just down there. So we're going down to the park to have a morning tea because this um, coffee shop that we went to on the corner, Ravens, it's it's mad, it's crazy. It's got so many sitting areas but they're all almost full. There's a couple of benches inside but um, obviously with uh, picks we can't uh, go inside. So we've come across the road to the gazebo on the river's edge on the grass park which is quite pleasant hello duckies what you doing 
Riverfront Gallery, Tea House. I shake, but I don't gasp for breath. Mm. I score goals. <laughs> I'll still do that. <laughs> so these are the um, the vines that we were staying. First paddock, some out the back, and I think they go around also around the other side of the um, the homestead. So we've come for a, uh, a drive on this dismal looking day. Um, we were hoping it was going to be a lot nicer, but um, overcast and windy, uh, we come out to the coast. So the first place we're looking at is called Madfish Bay. Madfish, welcome to Madfish Bay. It, Tower Hill is a walking trail. Oh, who invited the flies? So come down the pathway just to have a bow peep. It, it actually looks quite nice. On a, on a nice warm day, it'd be a brilliant place for a swim. So uh, there's a few flies here. Oh, look, it's on yours too. Uh, this is this is would be nice place. Look at the rocks going into the water. I think this is what that's what elephant rocks is going to be like as well. Yeah, the smooth rocks, aren't they? It's quite a nice spot. It must Waves. be a really good fishing spot. Is that why it's called Mad Fish Bay? I don't know. Probably. Mad fishermen. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's well protected, isn't it? It's amazing. So there are several stories about how Madfish Bay got its name. One local fisherman tells a story that some men came fishing in, out in the 1930s with us two mad fish in the bay chasing all the small fish around. The fishermen went home empty handed that day thanks to these two mad fish. Right, okay. Believe that if you will. So the next stop is Elephant Rocks. Accessible path leads you to two of the best views of William Bay National Park. One lookout is high above Elephant Rocks where you have stunning views of the coastline, the elephants themselves. The, uh, it's pretty developed here. I tell you what, the toilets are amazing. So this is the lookout over Green's Pool. <laughs> so that's Green's Pool. Well, this is where all the um, National Park passes goes to uh, doing all these walkways and steps and replantings. Doing a good job. So here's the herd of elephants. Terrific, isn't it? The water in between. Yeah, the water goes through them. Yeah. 
So this is the steps going down Elephant Rocks at the top down to the bottom to the beach. This is awesome. Isn't this terrific? <laughs> wow. This is awesome. What a great spot. What a beautiful place. No doubt in summer this would be packed with people. So what do you think, Bruce? Oh, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's just disappointing that uh, we're possibly a month too early for swimming out there. But uh, I've just never seen... I mean, the water's crystal clear and it's green. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You see why people come here. Mm. This is, this is just around, like over to the left of us is the Elephant Rocks and around here is heading towards Greens Pool and look at that coast I know, it's just, it is spectacular, it really is and the Greens Pool in all its glory This is another angle of Green's Pool. So this is the um, Green's Pool, the beach side. And I'm standing on the rock that slopes into the pool. And nice pool there. It's got a bit of weed growing on the rocks around to where we were before so we're down at beach on the beach now and the guys are still up there Bruce posing for Miranda there's a couple of guys swimming out there doing laps look at this just stunning oh there's the concrete path This must have cost a few bob to put in. Concrete steps. Landscaping. All the signage alone. We had a discussion at the intersection. And so we all decided to take different paths. <laughs> So where so, to now? Is it the chocolate, the chocolate factory? The Denmark chocolate something. It's just back on the highway. Yeah. So what do you think? Oh, oh that's beautiful. That's some of the nicest coastline I have seen. And the colour of the, the water. The colour of the water was just amazing. Yeah. I mean, sometimes even though it was cold, I wish I had brought my swimmers. <laughs> I think I've been well, paid for this, aren't I? There was a couple of people who, uh, yeah, we give you dodgy horse tips. Yes, I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> there was one person in a wetsuit swimming. Mean, he was going quite well. The other bloke had blue arms. Someone yeah. else had goggles and snorkel. Yeah, and the girl was in there for a while and got out. Yeah. And she said, oh, I, yeah. she said I couldn't go in any further. I think she was up to about Oh, ah, okay. I put, I put my hand in up to about there. Yeah, it was cold. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's so clear. No, it's yeah. an absolute cracker of a day now. It was freezing yeah. earlier. Yeah. All right, time for uh, morning tea at lunchtime. Hot chocolate. So we've left the coast and made our way back on off the highway to the Denmark Chocolate Factory, which uh, we've had recommendations. The grounds are just excellent, um, and we'll go in and see. You have to supervise your children. So there's the gardens here. Look at the gardens. Tracy, you match all the flowers. I know. Could be too hot shortly. Did you get the bee in it? You didn't. I know. Look at that. going to be salivating. You will be. Follow the chocolate timeline. Welcome to the chocolate timeline. 500 BC, early agriculture begins. Smooth leathery leaves, dense lemon blossoms. Oh, smell the, smell the, yeah. what are they call wisteria? Is that what it is? So this is uh, inside the Denmark chocolate factory. All the wines and ports and stuff they have. Interestingly, these are from the berry farm. And the cures from the berry farm. Are oh, they the um chocolate pretzels? Pretzels. You can get the jams here. Berry farm chutney. These are from the berry farm. What are they? Jam. There's some different things. So the first one is butterscotch, second one is banana, third one is chocolate cream. So it's sip, nibble, sip. But you didn't want any. Sorry, don't go on. Did you have a coffee? So the GPS says to go left, but I'm going to go right. Right. Yes, we went left the other day and ended up on a silly dirt road. Got us back around again. I don't have any money. Oh, there it is. What do you mean you don't have any money? There's money in the back still, isn't there? Yeah. Take the next left onto Scottsdale Road. Guinea fowls on the road. No. Look at the last one if it's on the road. Guinea fowls on the road down there. 